The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 25th of July, 1975, in Los Angeles, California. Well, it seems that they're complaining that uh, people are depending on faith for their knowledge. So their claim is that we do not depend on this faith. We simply take a group of facts, and from these facts, this strong body of facts, we develop a theory which will explain them. Theory is not faith. Not faith? Not faith. Oh. They say this is a theory. They don't... It's simply an idea of how it could happen. So that is faith. They don't believe the theory until they think they have sufficient facts. That is faith. I understand. Blind faith. These facts, this, these theories are tested by presenting more and more facts in the light of this theory. It, either the theory collapses under the new facts or it becomes strengthened. So by this method... <laughs> well, for example, uh, you may see that uh, living beings are reproducing geometrically. Uh, one one uh, couple produces two children. Those children each produce two children. So in that way it appears that the animal population should be increasing geometrically. We can see that... Who made that geometry? Who made the geometry? Who made the geometry? <laughs> this is all just going on. Uh. <laughs> Accident. <laughs> that. So their observation is that even though this geometric progression of uh, species is going on, still the same amount of living beings in each species is, is remaining. So the theory to support this is that within each species there must be variations. And uh, within these variations, certain ones are more favorable than others for survival. So in due course of time, the unfavorable variations die out. That is already there. You are living more than the ants. That is already there. Their claim is that within a particular species, the variations uh, from birth to birth... Can they increase the life period of an ant? <laughs> well, their claim is that this can happen. That was definitely. Again. This is the only shelter for the So it again comes down to faith on their part. Don't waste time. See their rascal now. One claim the scientists make is that they're more humble in their knowledge than we are. They don't say that this Why is the absolute. We humble. We are not foolish men. That we shall be humble. We must be proud of our knowledge. You are fully see we come hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is humble, man is not humble. The dog may bark and man shut up immediately. So you are like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Their claim is that species are not constant like our claim. They say that species constantly change till the original species is gone and a new species is created. What is that original species? Uh, well, th they say originally chemicals. For originally very complex chemicals, acids. Very complex, again. They cannot understand. So complex that they cannot understand. So what is the use of such thing? Well, they say these complex chemicals came from the simplest chemicals. That's wrong. Where from? Well, they say in space there are many, many particles. That's eternal. They say it's eternal. Huh? They say the space and Why it does. Why do you bother? Stop speculating. Everything is eternal. 
Why do you bother? You find out something new. To control. Huh? To gain control. You cannot control. Because you are controlled. That is eternally you are controlled. See? You are controlled. Also, Srila Prabhupada, they don't recognize that there are so many species of life. It's like the uh, the white man and the black man. They will say is one species. And also the uh, average... Let us attract forms. Not species, but forms. It doesn't matter. There is only change of words. There are so many forms. They say that the amount of forms is not constant because by breeding breeding different forms together they can create completely new forms that never existed before. What is the use of creating new forms already there are eight million? <laughs> but their claim is that by breeding different forms uh, together they will get superior forms. They give the example... You cannot maintain your own child form, your killing. And what is the use of increasing? For example, they used to have wild boars. They cannot eat them. But they have bred now very fat pigs to eat. They consider this to be a great advantage. Also, with fruits and vegetables, they are combining and creating new types. So many bad ideas. Like, uh, the nectarine is a uh, combination of a peach, peach and a plum. And a plum. <laughs> we have the real nectarine. <laughs> nectarine, you may have created, but the peach and the palm was there. But they have created a new What thing. new creation? Unless there was palm and peach, how could we create? So the peach and plum created, yeah. <laughs> so they're dependent on the... scientist <laughs> named Fox was... They have conjectured that these original, nucle very complex nucleic acids have created life. So he's taking these acids in a big uh, test tube. <laughs> <laughs> and the And cry there. <laughs> yes, we treat them as foxes and jackals. That's <laughs> Not even human beings. They waste time in this way and people are enamored by that. That is, that's why you are talking, face, meeting. What they have gained out of it. And people are enamored to talk about them, write in the newspaper, make a subject matter. And then all of a sudden they come, get out, finish. <laughs> How foolish they are. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu order is Jare Dakhu Jare Koho Krishna Bhuta. Don't talk nonsense. Whomever you meet, if you want to become a leader and talk something, talk Krishna Kapha. Jare Dakhu Jare Koho Krishna Bhuta. What Krishna has said. Then satisfy your ambition to become a talker. Otherwise, you rascal remain a talker only. You talk only, you get nothing. If you want to utilize your talking power, then talk what Krishna is in the sky. Then your life will be subject. And if you talk foolishly, then you will be what is called revealed as a rascal. Tavatya Sobhati Murtha Javat Kinchi Navasat. A rascal fool is so so long beautiful as long he does not speak. As soon as he speaks, then he is evil that he is a rascal. So don't talk this. You can dress yourself very nice gentleman. People are rest. But as soon as you talk nonsense, he is a rascal. That is what they are in the name of scientists, philosophers, they are talking nonsense and exposing themselves that they are all rascals. Someone like Mayor Baba who never spoke. Huh? That is another art of not being exposed. <laughs> because as soon as he speaks, he becomes rascal. 
the Mauna Bhava. There is no enemy. There is Bengal. Bhavar Satruna. If you are dumb, then nobody is your enemy. Bhavar, so they become Bhava. Bhava means dumb. I don't speak. That means I don't create many enemies. That's all. Nothing positive. Yeah. You are okay, I am okay. <laughs> like that yogi Bhajan, he didn't say anything for a long time. Then when he spoke, he started speaking about his court cases. Court cases? Yeah. He's very expert. What? Very expert in dealing with legal cases. What they will speak, what they have got. Better not to talk. Yeah. During that meeting, the Muni, that Muni, he was interested in spiritual conversation. But uh, Yogi Bhajan, he did not take part at all. He said his ego was very large. He said he had a big ego. Ego? Ego. 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 So, ego. Ego. Like, ego. Oh. ego. He said he, he admitted he had a very big ego. <laughs> but who cares for you? <laughs> he said he was trying to do away with it. But your beard is growing more and more. <laughs> that I say to my disciples that if you have to take an instruction, that is what we done for you. He said that. Mm. If you want to take instruction, go to Bhakti Vedanta. Then why doesn't he go to Bhakti? He comes. Oh. Yeah, we, you are not going to him. <laughs> Came to me, they said, we are trying to establish universal brotherhood. You are not present. Who else me? I say, it is all bogus. You will never be able to do it. Easy to do. It is all bogus. We'll never hear it. So this Srila Prabhupada, in your conversation with him, that uh, there was some mention that Vedas were the universal doctrine. So he mentioned, I think, that his, uh, what is that book they have? The, uh, yeah, the Guru Grantha. Could also be accepted as universal. I think you said something that it was only a branch. Yeah. He was feeling that it wasn't a branch, it was as good. In that stand, just like you give somebody two kinds of vegetables and spices, he, and he makes a nice. Preparation. So people, the so-called scientists, they are like that. But we are after where from the vegetable came. That is the difference. Who supplied? Who supplied? That is the difference. He is trying to get, take credit by mixing these vegetable and spices and salt and ghee. And he is expert in preparing very nice palatable. But we say that where you got the vegetable, where you got the spices, where you got the ghee, and they are not concerned about it. <laughs> they don't want to tell. And they do not know. Our philosophy is Jatuvai uh, Vani Bhutani Jayanti, the original source of all these things. I think if they can make very palatable dishes, what is the need for God? But without God, where do you get the ingredients? He is automatically supplying them. Oh, that's why there is no need of it. I supply you everything, and you say, there is no need of it. <laughs> and very good intelligence. <laughs> ungrateful. Yes. The intelligence is ungrateful. Mm. Such man should not be given any credit. Ungrateful. I'll say that at least our method proves out with facts 
Whereas your method, there is no facts. Simply you have some faith. So better to, better that at least we know the facts and not know the source. Right. We accept this. Earth, water, air, fire, everything. So we can see this is here. To where, our potential, where from it came. Well, that. We, we have to test this out scientifically. We can't just accept. He said that the water is composition of hydrogen and oxygen. Where from we got this so much hydrogen and oxygen? The passage is also. There is so much water needed in so many places. Why don't you take chemical and pour water? Why are you talking nonsense? They can make a little water in a test tube. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That we can produce while I pass urine. <laughs> so you, you can create little urine. That, that we do automatically. At least I do. <laughs> Every hour I pass urine. So your credit is urine maker. <laughs> <laughs> we, have developed, we have developed a method of seeding clouds. We send airplanes into the clouds and spread chemicals. And then very, we send airplanes into the clouds and spread chemicals. And then rain comes. So what need is there? Sometimes. For? Uh, what is that? Sometimes they're able to... Uh, Agitate the cloud. To... And now they find out it's causing worse effects. So they have to stop that also. So why don't you create... The clouds. Clouds and sufficient <laughs> rain in the desert when there is so much water is needed. How mm-hmm. did you do that? If you say, yes, I have passed urine in the desert. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I have passed urine on the desert. The desert is full <laughs> Sometimes in, in uh, times of great need in the desert they will hire these Indian rainmakers and they will do some dance to try to create rain. Need of creating water. You have no such intelligence. Just like the Arabian desert is there, Arabian sea is there. Why don't you utilize this word? Instead of bluffing others that we can create water, why don't you use this water and make the desert fertile? Create a little water in the test tube. So you take that credit. Why you want to take the credit of creating a passive emotion? That is our protest. You are able to create one ounce of water in the test tube. That's a lot. Miracle done. But we say that one has created the passive ocean. How much credit he will be given? That is our proposal. You take test tube credit, but you must give passive credit to God. That is one thing. But creating test tube water, you want to take the Pacific credit. Is that very good? Nice proposal. Spoken by one scientist in our daily meeting, who are present in the daily meeting. The scientist said, Dr. Akhwaram. Dr. Akhwaram. That we have simply learned how to bark like dog. But we don't care. So many dogs are already barking. <laughs> he admitted that if a man learns how to bark, people will purchase ticket and see him. And so many thousands of dark dog are barking, nobody cares. This is science. Learn how to bark. Imitate the dog and you become important. 
you have created one hard fruit by mixing peach and plum, plum. plum. And one who is creating millions and trillions of fruits that is lying on the floor, nobody cares for that. He has no credit. These rascals want credit for this. Most insignificant. They say their barking is an improvement on the original dog. <laughs> <laughs> Another dog appreciates like that. <laughs> is that originally God's creation is not perfect. It is nature is very wild, and man can make it perfect. You have not come to the, to that perfection, so you are not important. Awesome. Muslim country, there is what. Khuda ka upar khidmat dari. Khuda means God. These rascals want to go above God. It's a remark that since you have come to Los Angeles, the deity has increased in beauty many times. Krishna. My anxiety. Then in my absence we may neglect duty worship, then the whole thing is fine. That is my anger. So very worried. They say the earth has a certain tilt. And every every few million years the tilt is changing little, little. And by this changing eventually the ice on the north and south poles will melt, they say. So they were very afraid because then their estimate is that the entire earth will be covered with water. Huh? Well, they are afraid for a future humanity. They will, they will all be killed. He is not uh, careful about himself. He is thinking. He cannot take care of himself. He thinks of others. They are thinking this is a great humanitarian... Huh? They, they think this is a humanitarian attitude to, to worry about the to future. To protect yourself is not humanitarian. You are dog, dogtarian. You cannot protect yourself. I am thinking of humanity. You are also human being. Why don't you take care of you, first of all? But maybe it is a higher duty to worry about people in the future. Duty, that I know, but why don't you take care of you? I got a job. Well, they think they're okay. Huh? They think we're all right. But this uh, is broad-minded. Right, he's not okay because he's full of anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> he's not okay. <laughs> How you can say he's okay? <laughs> Rascal is full of anxiety and he is thinking, okay, let's see. They are thinking they will live for millions of years. That is what they did today. Yeah. <laughs> Only rascal spoke like that, but they are washed away by the waves of nature. Okay. That is rascal. That is their first anxiety that the ice will melt and cover the earth with water. Your next That's anxiety is that it will cover with ice. Ice melt or not melt. You are not going to leave. You will die. So others will die. So you cannot protect yourself and others also. So why you are unnecessarily full of anger? You cannot. Pasan na pina pasan. Pramatta te shanga nidhanam pasan na pina pasan. These things are already discussed in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. These rascals. There's no time. The science. You have time to talk all these wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no time to read Bhagavad <laughs> This is our misfortune. The airport, they cannot save themselves from our book distributors. <laughs> Rather, they purchase us. Yes. Try to become conquered. And taste do not manufacture brain and give it to a stone and he becomes a scientist. <laughs> Why do they not do that? Manufacture, you have got so nice brain, now manufacture another brain and put it on the stone and he becomes that what is called Frankenstein. <laughs> Why they are not 
unable to create another brain what is the answer they have been able to get sufficient research grants huh? from the government huh? they have more money from the research government. grants from government for this purpose but if they can get more money then they'll be able to do it. Hmm. they say they will do it then what is his position who has created his brain this just came in the course of evolution so then why you are talking so much you come everything why you are wasting time Let it come. Everything by evolution. They say where everything has come from. That is not so much important. But let us take the forces that we have now, the forces of nature, and use them for the betterment of mankind. Where it comes from, this. Yes, because years ago people would have to go out in the cold and chop a tree to get wood for fire. Now they simply turn the stove, and the fire is there. Use here. The wood was there, and people are taking. You do not know. You are so foolish. They were wolves there, were there already, and people are there. They are taking, they are taking advantage. Yeah, we've arranged it in such a way. Now it's easier for us to carry on our daily lives by adjusting things like this. Where it comes from, it's already there. We admit it's there. Where it comes from, it's not so important. They used to create by you know, fire, by mantra. Can you do that? They need natural gas, and the natural gas is running out. Yeah. We don't believe in these mantras because there's no fossils. Why don't believe you? <laughs> <laughs> Who believes you? <laughs> Some rascals might believe. <laughs> there's so much evidence, though. We have fossils. No, we have also evidence. If you don't believe me, and he's going to believe you. The bodies are always changing. Yeah. So, from the out, outward appearance, it seems the evolutionary theory is correct. Not that. That is, we are accepting evolution, but that evolution is that there is no soul, who is the proprietor of the body. So that no, they do not. There's no meaning to their theory. Then. Huh? There's no meaning to their. Because theory. in the beginning, it's mistake. Your education from wrong platform. The whole thing is wrong. Study me that I am this dress. Then do you study me properly. That is the intelligence. They are studying, studying, studying this body. And no knowledge of the proprietor of the body. They always put up is that that our our Vedic philosophy is coming from India. So they argue that this Vedic philosophy is coming from India. In India, there is so much disease and so many problems. But here, where we have our science, there is no disease. Because they are now fond of you. The Indians have become infected by you. Therefore, they are diseased. Mm-hmm. You are all diseased, and now inf- infected them. They are not become diseased. Why is there no disease here? Huh? Why is there no, there no symptoms? Why are you are anxious about the cancer, the big disease? India may be suffering from small disease, and because you are suffering from big disease, therefore you are big. We are suffering from big disease. First of all, become disease less, then talk of oh, India is suffering and you are not suffering. You are big, and you are suffering from big disease. That's all. The wife of the President Ford, she uh, has gotten cancer, and she had to have a uh, operation, very painful. Big man, big disease, yeah. big pain. The president could not protect his own wife. Vice President also. His, you know, his wife also.
question is that India is small, he is suffering from malaria, and you are big, you are suffering from cancer. So big man, big disease, a small man, small disease. But we want the disease less. But you become proud, no, you have got big disease, for treatment we pay the physician thousands of dollars. You pay it and I'm. Therefore I am better. I am able to pay the physician millions of dollars. He cannot pay. Therefore I am big. The hospitals here have better facilities than in countries in India. Yeah, that's all right. So we can... It's simply proportional. Five upon ten and five million upon ten million. The proportion is... Uh, because the figure is five million over ten million, it, that does not mean that the proportion is, is not the same. You put five upon ten or five million or ten, the result is... Why other parts, they suffer from that. That's nice. You have made scientific improvement. You produce more and distribute to the poor country. On the conjunction. One is blind, one is lame. So they, let the lame man be taken by the blind man. He can walk. And they both their work will be nicely done. That I put this argument always. You are blind by material advancement, and India has got spiritual advancement, but for want of money they cannot move. Huh? So you take this lame man, you blind on your shoulder, and cooperation is good for the whole world.